Two state-of-the-art train cars still shrink-wrapped in plastic sat on Pier F. Metrolink board chairman Keith Milhouse explained that they're the first commuter rail cars in the country outfitted with a technology that directs a collision's impact away from riders. So it provides, in essence, a crumple zone where the energy is absorbed that protects the crew members and the passengers from injury. The South Korean company Hyundai Rotem is manufacturing 117 of the new cars for Metrolink. Milhouse said his agency is acting as the auto industry did when it re-engineered car bumpers to emphasize passenger safety over cosmetic appeal. Operating the most densely congested system in the country, unfortunately you have people that do dumb things around rail crossings and if a vehicle gets on a crossing we want to ensure that our passengers and our crew are protected. Metrolink and its riders have endured some human actions that compromised safety in the five years since the agency ordered the new rail cars. Two crashes in Glendale in 2005 and in Chatsworth in 2008 have killed 36 people. One collision involved an SUV on the railroad tracks, the other a train engineer texting on his cell phone. Keith Milhouse of the Metrolink board says the new train cars are essential to the rail system safety overhaul. What we've tried to do is institute a comprehensive measure of safety components throughout the Metrolink system and build in redundancies. The most visible of those components so far, Milhouse said, are the inward-facing cameras to monitor engineers in the train cabs. In two years, Metrolink plans to install a satellite-based system that can stop a train remotely during an emergency. Brian Watt, 89.3 KPCC.